Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. Uh, I'm going to make a video on how to do my crackle perch pattern. This is the, this has some bluegill markings in it, but this is the pattern that we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing it on big swim baits. The first thing to do is to get the crackle on. So what you have to do is lay down a black base coat. I already did one side. I'm doing the other side of the swim baits now. Any black works, it doesn't really matter. I'm using Kratex Opaque Black. Okay, so uh, I got the baits completely uh, base coat with black. I even did the, the inside joints. I'm probably going to have to do this next stage in the stages. So I'll do a... Uh, I don't know, or maybe I can do it one by one. I'm going to have to see if I can use my helping hand one by one. The next phase is to add the, the crackle. The only bad thing about this black is it like attracts dust <laughs> for some reason. Anyway, so what you're gonna need next is you're gonna need some crackle solution. Uh, you can get this at any Hobby Lobby store or anything like that. Michaels, Did you see, I got mine from Hobby Lobby and it costs three ninety nine, and it's uh, let's see, four uh, four ounces. But I'm about halfway through, and I've done a ton of baits with this. So it's called uh, Crackle Medium, and it's used to uh, make things look like uh, old and antique-ish. Uh, I use it on the baits. It gives off a really great effect. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is take the top off. You're going to want a, a good brush that has uh, soft bristles. Uh, this is an artist brush, so... If you go out and buy buy one, it, it's a good investment because you just clean it off and have it for a while. Also, you're going to need some white paint ready to go. I'm going to use Opaque by Create Tex. Uh, the paint has to be thick. That's one thing thing that I've noticed. I've tried using my Comart, and it's just too thin, so it, it doesn't it doesn't crack for for some reason. So. Make sure that you're using a thick paint, a uh, thick white paint. Put a bunch right in there. I keep my air pressure up. I got it on about 30. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get so, uh, some solution on your brush. The trick is, is this goes a long way, so you don't want gobs of it on. Spread it all out. You're going to have air bubbles for sure. I'll show you how to get those out in a second. Just make sure that you uh, are getting a nice even coat. And if you use long strokes, it saves on some air bubbles. Since I'm doing a big bait, you have to go back in and get some more. Now, I'm going to do the joint separately. I'll go back after it's dry and do it. So, it's going to have to be done in stages. I've never done a tail. I've never done a swim bait with this stuff before. So, it's all tri trial and error here. Go on to the other side. See, you don't want that. You don't want it running. So, just make sure that you spread it all around. A bunch of this is going to come back off too. 
I'll show you in a minute. And this stuff doesn't uh, it doesn't dry too fast, so you don't have to rush it. So ju just make sure that you're doing a good job getting everything covered with a nice even coat. One thing that you want to pay attention to is uh, the screw eyes. Uh, it'll get in there and uh, puddle up. Make sure that you get those out. Right now I'm just going back over real quick and getting all the excess off with, with the big brush. Uh, another trouble spot is the eye cavities. They'll puddle up in there too, so, so keep an eye on that. Alright, next you, you're, uh, you're going to pull out one of your epoxy brushes. These are the same brushes that I used to, to put the epoxy on. Uh, 90, 97 cents at Walmart for 30 pack. And the only reason I use this is because the, the bristles are hard. So what that does, if you do long even strokes, it pops the air bu bubbles and pushes them out for you. It gets all the access off. So I'm going to go right inside that eye cavity and uh, pull it right out. You can see I'm, uh, I'm wiping it off on the paper towel as I go. It's important to, uh, to to get these air brush uh, air bubbles out, or your white will look horrible. So this spreads it out, pops the air bubbles, and gets off the extra. Pay attention to all your crevices in the bait, lines and stuff like that. So that's pretty good. If you guys can notice this side compared to that side, you can tell the difference. I don't know how, how well my camera picks up something like that, so hopefully you guys seen it. This bait is all pretty smooth for, for, for the most part, so it should crackle pretty well. I've noticed that smooth baits crackle easier than baits that have a lot of uh, grooves and stuff like that, which makes sense if you think about it. Now I first learned this technique from uh, Mike over at uh, Lure Me and Custom Paint and Crankbakes. If, if you guys want to go over to his uh, page and give him a like and check out his videos, he's a real good good artist as well. I always try to give him a shout out. He's uh, the one that gave me a lot of advice when I first started out. So try to repay the favor as best as I can. I'm not even sure I'm not even sure if he knows <laughs> that he helped me get started but all right so I pretty much got this done to where I'm satisfied what's gonna take place now is I'm gonna spray a whole bunch of white on it keep this one out of the spray a whole bunch of white on it get uh, get your air dryer ready because that because this part goes fast okay guys while you're spraying too, the uh, the air from the gun is going to make it dry faster as well. So, don't be afraid to use a bunch of white. That's why I got my air air pressure up so high. You can see it's starting to crackle already. Going to switch over to the other side.
top. Sorry if you guys can't see this, I don't want it to mess up, so I'm trying to go pretty fast here. You can see the, the air from it is starting to make it crackle. I'm going to dry it a little bit. I'm going to keep my air dryer away. Just watch it come to life. I'm going to spray some more white onto it. Make sure it has a nice, good, bright white paint uh, base coat. So now, I'm going to try to do this in camera, sorry. Now when I hit it with the hot air, it's just going to spread apart. You can watch it as it goes. Try to keep it on camera. You can just see it spreading. Alright, so I'm going to keep going with the hair dryer, get this all dried up. You don't want to touch this because if you touch it, it's going to smear it. You want to get it completely dry, so just take a few minutes and dry it with the hair dryer. Okay, we're back. So pretty much dry. Uh, as you see, I took the took the screw out that holds the tail because uh, I'm not going to put that in until after I epoxy it. So that's that. First color we're going to start with, we're on to the painting stage right now. And we're going to start with a Create Text Transparent Yellow. It's actually one of the... I, I like the uh, Create Text Transparents. They're, they spray well. Alright, so this goes across the midsection. So that's, that's what we're going to do. You know what, I'm going to, one second. Okay, I just uh, put some plastic across the tail. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do something special with that. Anyway, so transparent yellow goes across the uh, midsection. Next color is uh, Burnt Orange by Wicked. Good color, but it's really thick, so it takes uh, some reducer. Just gonna mix in some reducer real quick, thin it out. Alright, so this color is going to be lighter on top by the yellow. And then darker on the belly.
Oh, that's no bueno. So you can see it kind of darkens up and then fades lighter to the yellow. Perfect. All right, on to the next color. I'm gonna use a <laughs> acrylic paint uh, testers. It's a fluorescent green. This goes on the top half of the body. Just gonna do a light coat. Okay, next color is moss green. And I did use some reducer to, to thin it out. And all this does is goes across the back, darkens up the back. Just gives it some depth. And you're going to fade it right down to almost a yellow, but you want to leave, leave a little bit of that fluorescent green in there. So that kind of makes it look, look like a nice little fade. There's that. 